ഹലോ എല്ലാ കൂട്ടുകാർക്കും ചിറ്റൂസ് ബ്ലോഗിൻ്റെ പുതിയ ഒരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഞാൻ ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ബി എസ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കിലെ ആറാമത്തെ ചാപ്റ്ററായ ലിവിംഗ് ഇൻ ഹാർമണി എന്ന പാഠമാണ് അതിൽ മുഴുവൻ ചോദ്യങ്ങളും ഉത്തരങ്ങളും ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഞാൻ വേറൊരു സന്തോഷ വാർത്ത കൂടി അറിയിക്കുകയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ചിറ്റൂസ് ബ്ലോഗ് എന്ന ഫാമിലിയിൽ നൂറ്റി അമ്പത് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബേഴ്സിന് മുകളിൽ ആയിട്ടുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ തരുന്ന സപ്പോർട്ടിനും സ്നേഹത്തിനും എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയം നിറഞ്ഞ നന്ദി ഞാൻ അറിയിക്കുന്നു നിങ്ങളുടെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ഇനിയും ഞാൻ പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നു നമുക്ക് വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് പോകാം ഐ ഹൂ ലീവ്ഡ് ഹാപ്പിലി ഇൻ ദി പോണ്ട് ഈസ് നൗ ലീഡിംഗ് എ സോറോഫുൾ ലൈഫ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഗ്ലാസ് കേജ് വാട്ട് എ ഫെയ്റ്റ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദി ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻ പോൺസ് വിച്ച് എനേബിൾ ദി ഫിഷ് ടു ലീവ് ആൻസർ അക്വാട്ടിക് പ്ലാൻസ് സൺലൈറ്റ് മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് വാട്ടർ സോയിൽ എയർ ആർ ദയർ ബയോട്ടിക് ആൻഡ് അബയോട്ടിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഫൈൻഡിങ്സ് ലിസ്റ്റ് ദം ബയോട്ടിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് അക്വാട്ടിക് പ്ലാൻസ് മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് അബയോട്ടിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് വാട്ടർ സോയിൽ എയർ സൺലൈറ്റ് Which of these factors are missing for the fish in the aquarium, aquatic plants and microorganisms? Notice the picture. How many are the organisms living here together? Are there only living beings? Find out and write them down. Do all organisms depend on the same biotic and abiotic factors? Which are the biotic and abiotic factors that the crane depends on for its existence? Which are the biotic and the abiotic factors that the crane depends on for its existence? Crane needs abiotic factors like air, water, sunlight and soil for its existence. It does not need plants but needs small organisms. Do all organisms depend on the same biotic and the abiotic factors? All the organisms need same biotic factors like air, water, soil, rain, sunlight, etc. Plants depend more on the sunlight and soil than other living organisms. But other living organisms need biotic factors apart from the abiotic factors. Organisms, relaying factors, biotic, abiotic, fox. Biotic, rabbit, hen, abiotic, air, water, worm, biotic, plants, abiotic, air, water, frog, biotic, grasshopper, abiotic, air, water, organism, snake, biotic, frog, birds, abiotic, air, water. Ecosystem, the natural surroundings in which an organism lives is called its habitat. The biotic and abiotic factors in the surroundings and their mutual relationship together form the ecosystem. Which are the ecosystems in your locality? List them. Sacred groves, cave, forest, hills, ponds, paddy fields, lakes. For food, have you seen water snake capturing a frog? Water snake feeds on frogs. What are the things that the frog feeds on grasshopper small organisms worms from where does the grasshopper obtain its food from grass let us illustrate this on the basis of how each one becomes food for another grass grasshopper frog snake grass deer lion grass grasshopper frog snake grass worm fowl fox grass rabbit fox tiger write down the initial levels in the food chains you have found out green plants which organisms occupy the top level in the food chains generally the carnivores occupy the top level green plants always occupy the first level of the food chain the top level is occupied by the carnivores 
intermediate ones may be herbivores or omnivores is it only the frog that eats the grasshopper the coyotes and the fowl also eat the grasshopper which all organisms are eaten by the lion rabbit goat and the deer how many food chains can you find out from this write them down in the science diary many food chains join together to form the food web in nature we can see many food webs prepare a food web by including organisms you are familiar with producers and consumers we have found that the first level of any food chain is always occupied by the green plants what might be the reason for this discuss the discuss this matter in connection with the idea of photosynthesis green plants prepare their own food so they are known as producers organisms that depend on other organisms for their food are called consumers do lion and tiger depend on plants for food lion and tiger depend on herbivores and omnivores for their food these herbivores and omnivores depend on plants for their food hence we can say that all carnivores indirectly depend on plants for their food mixing with the soil green plants need certain nutrients to prepare food and grow plants continuously absorb these nutrients from the soil still how do these nutrients remain in the soil always observe the fallen leaves under a tree and write down the findings leaf observed changes in the leaf a leaf which had fallen one or two days ago changes in leaf it begins to decay leaf observed a leaf which fell several days ago changes in the leaf the leaf has completely decayed and get mixed with the soil what happens to the body parts of plants and animals when they die decomposes microorganisms like bacteria and fungi break organic remains and add them to the soil so they are called decomposers the nutrients formed as a result of decomposition further become available for the growth of plants analyze the illustration given below and explain the relations among producers consumers and decomposers producers food consumers dead remains decomposers decomposition nutrients absorption producers dead remains decomposers decomposition nutrients absor- absorption producers the producers absorb the nutrients from the soil and prepare food the food formed by the producers are used by the consumers the dead remains of the producers and the consumers are decomposed by the decomposers and the nutrients are formed these nutrients are again absorbed by the producers when we intervene in nature it must be clear to you by now that producers consumers decomposers and abiotic factors are all part of the ecosystem what change will occur in the ecosystem when any of these factors is altered many activities of human beings caused by destruction to the ecosystem list them discuss the problems caused by the leveling of land and filling of paddy fields based on the indicators given below write them down in the science diary question number 1 which are the ecosystems destroyed by these activities the ecosystem like hills farmlands bushes canals ponds etc destroyed by these activities question number 2 what all organisms lost their habitats organisms like a fish frog 
grass hopper small plants insects small birds snakes etc lose their habitats question number 3 which organisms would face scarcity of food answer organisms like snakes large birds reptiles etc would face scarcity of food question number 4 How do these activities affect the availability of abiotic factors necessary for the growth of plants? Answer: The availability of water will decrease. Nutrients are present only in the upper soil. If the upper soil is lost, the soil will lose the fertility. So we have found out that all organisms including producers, consumers and decomposers are interdependent the importance of keeping and preserving each of them may be presented in a seminar there are many instances of the adverse effects of human interventions in this in the ecosystem suggest remedial measures for these interventions in your seminar let us assess Question number 1 Find out the maximum number of food chains by including the organisms given below Tortoise fish aquatic plants kingfisher water snake eagle frog crab mushy catfish Aquatic plants fish kingfisher eagle Aquatic plants fish frog water snake eagle Aquatic plants fish crab water snake eagle question number 2 rubik tabulated the various factors in a pond as follows producers algae water lily lotus small fish consumers water snake crab frog barrel snake head fish decomposers bacteria small fish fungi abiotic factors water air sand stones are there only suitable ones in each group which are the unsuitable ones small fish is not a producer it is a consumer small fish is not a decomposer explain the interdependence of the various factors in this ecosystem algae water lily lotus are producers consumers depend on them di- directly or indirectly for food decomposers break down the dead remains of producers and consumers producers and consumers depend on abiotic factors also question number 3 explain how different organisms will be affected if a large mango tree is cut down The organisms that live on the mango tree lose their habitat. Organisms like the birds and squirrels that depend on the mango tree for food face food scarcity. The atmospheric temperature in that area will increase as the natural shade is lost. Humans and other animals lose a natural resting place.